Chromia is being built by Chroma Way, Swedish startup founded by three people. Henrik Hjelte, Or Perelman and Alex Mizrahi. Now let's talk about all three of them in detail. Henrik is CEO in Chroma Way. He's an experienced developer starting as early as 1988 on a powerful 386 processor in Turbo Pascal. <laughs> He founded many startups throughout his career. Do you know that actually I, I actually worked with a dating startup? As a non-native speaker, he's slower than you would usually hear. For a more uh, mature audience. But he undoubtedly possesses the business qualities of a good CEO. We started to work with banks in 2014-15 to do stable coins and stuff like that before Ethereum, uh, so we based it on Bitcoin. We know that it would never scale to have tokens on Bitcoin for basically Estonia, which is a small country, but still something that Chromia has that no one else has. It's basically that it's based on a database technology, the same technology that is used in enterprises. Strangely enough, we're the only blockchain that is really looking at, at that kind of technology. Alex is CTO. He has impressive developer background of over 20 years, while he's two founded few startups like we-tac.info or famous coins.org. There are not many videos about him and some of them aren't even in English. Fortunately, I dug up this interview from 2019 where Alex talks about nodes compensation. Each DAP has its own blockchain, which is costed on a number of nodes, and uh, DAP pays for uh, basically compensate the nodes for resources it consumes. Topics such as non compensation of full nodes or centralized infrastructure are overlooked by many. So, well done, Chromia. Or Perlman is COO in Chromaway. He founded Savebit in 2011 and Colored Coins in 2012. I co-founded the early wallet, uh, which was called Savebit, which had a few dozen of users back in the day. Stefan Thomas, up until recently as well, was a, a part of Ripple CTO, was part of uh, our team. Uh, so we had a very good team then. He isn't a developer, but he has three plus years of marketing experience, and I think he should do more marketing around Chromia too. We are the guys that created the first token platform in the world. Back in the old uh, history between 2012 to 2014, <laughs> we know uh, what is the needed in the space in order to build the best DAP platform in, in, the, in the world because we actually come with blockchain experience since uh, 2011. Uh, so we know what uh, we do. Extremely interesting is the team's work on colored coins back in 2013. Colored coins makes trading as user friendly and efficient as a Bitcoin payment when Ethereum was merely in planning phase. I think that the Bitcoin community didn't understand much about the tokens or why they would be useful. Uh, I remember going to some kind of meetups and talking about the tokens and NFTs in 2013. No one understood what it was about. And, you know, next subject, remittances. And that's basically, it. it's a bit, a bit strange. So I didn't, didn't say that people were really angry when we moved away from Bitcoin. Basically, yeah, people didn't care that much. Should the community be less ignorant back in 2013, Bitcoin could have been as well Ethereum. Last but not least, all three co-founders appear very obscurely on YouTube or other video platforms. Also, as you can see, this is when you write Henrik Hjelte to the YouTube founder, you get all the videos that are one or two years old, which I think is not the best news.